Oh, I got a 52k charge attack there. Nice. I think Kokomi is actually, because of my power down, you know, for Rita and Yolan, I think Kokomi might be getting the biggest damage numbers <laughs> on screen, which is fantastic. Is Crit Kokomi better now that Farina exists? Today we're going to find out. So way back when, when I think in patch 4.0, so you know, a while ago, I did Crit Kokomi doing a Burgeon Kokomi, uh, a Burgeon Vape Kokomi, right? And it was pretty fun. Was it good? No, I, I'm not going to recommend Crit Kokomi for, for Burgeon, but it was very fun. And uh, a lot of people watched the video, and I said in that video I wanted to do a follow-up when Farina released. And it's been like over two months since Farina released, and I, I, I forgot, okay? I got distracted. It's fine. We're, we're doing the follow-up today, okay? So the plan, of course, is we're still using four-piece martial arts hunters uh, for, for a crit Farina. Or, sorry, a crit. Farina could be crit anyways. Of course, you know, Kokomi, just in case you know, is watching doesn't know, she has this passive where she has a 25 additional healing bonus, but a 100% decrease in crit rate. But this does not mean she cannot crit. This just means you need a lot more crit rate than normal. <laughs> but thanks to artifacts like Marsha Say Hunter's existing net now and, uh, you know, good old Lost Prayers to the Sacred Winds, as well as weapons like this. This is better than Lost Prayers in some ways because it actually offers more crit rate for, for a crit Kokobi build. So, you know, there, there's a lot of options nowadays, point is, to make it so you can crit with Kokomi. It's not necessarily something you should do, but it's something that is fun to do. The plan for today is to do Mono Hydro crit Kokomi. And the reason for this is relatively simple, because this wasn't really doable before Farina existed, right? So Farina's HP draining enables Kokomi to be able to use Warpiece Marasha Say Hunters for the free crit rate. And before, you know, that artifact set or Farina existed, you know, you could do you could do what I did before, right? Where we did Burgeon with Marasha Say Hunters. But then before that, there was basically just four piece Blizzard Strayer on Kokomi, and you could use, you know, the likes of Rosaria. And you can still use the likes of Rosaria, right? Rosaria has a passive that buffs team crit rate by 15% of her own crit rate. And I would I would potentially even consider swapping out Yulon, for example, for Rosaria in this team, just for the additional value that Freeze can have, right? There, there's still very much reasons to do a Freeze-based crit Kokomi build. Ultimately, Mono Hydro is strong, it's synergistic, we shouldn't have energy issues with any of these units, right? Uh, especially because I have Xyphos Moonlight on Kazuo, which is going to give me even more free energy recharge, so, you know, shouldn't have any energy issues. I think this team will work pretty well, and then we can just focus mostly in on, you know, the DPS-oriented stats on, on Kokomi. The only problem with this is that, you know, Yulon on a normal build with, you know, Emblem, and then, of course, Farina on a normal build as well like they're going to be dealing most of the damage and like mono hydro with kokomi doing this team is already a th thing when you're not doing crit kokomi so to make sure that yalan and farina aren't doing ridiculous damage like they normally do we're, we're gonna we're gonna be a bit weird with it okay and by weird with it i mean i'm gonna put farina and yalan on very non-ideal builds so this is not something i am going to you know recommend people do where the heck are my pieces so yeah i don't recommend do this don't don't live by my example here unless you are completely bent on be like no i need the maximum kokomi damage possible that's that's why i'm doing this okay so we're putting we're putting four piece tenacity on farina and i apparently don't even have a leveled up flower but that's fine and we're gonna take this piece from nilu and then we'll take this piece as well. I don't even know why I put Dia on that. And this circlet I am using, you might be wondering, why? Why would you use this circlet on Farida? Well, I mean, Farida is a healer, technically. I would put a crit or HP circlet on her, but you know what? I don't have one. So if we want four-piece tenacity, giving 20% attack to Kokomi, that's what I got. It's fine. I have Constellation 2 Farina, so, you know... And then for weapon, I'm not going to use Fav, because who the heck cares about Fav? I think Farina's ER needs will be quite low in this team, because, you know, three Hydro users. So we're going to use Key of Kasha Suit. She's at 148 ER. Crit rate is sad, and crit damage is also sad, but that's fine, because, you know, like I said, I had C2 Frida, so what I'm lacking in crit will be made up for by the fact that, you know, we're still being able to deal damage otherwise. I honestly still think Farina's going to do meaningful damage, and, like, the fact that I don't have this leveled up is kind of silly as well, but... It doesn't matter. 
Oh, the idea with the key of Kaja's suit, by the way, is like, yeah, EM, we're not, we're not doing any reactions with this team. That's part of the reason I don't really like Mono Hydro as a format is because I think the spice of Genshin and, and what makes Genshin combat fun is reactions. And obviously we're just triggering a swirl here, but EM does not benefit Kokomi's damage at all, right? Except it does because Key of Kasha suit, and, and I know this is not, this is not like relatable. I'm not going for relatable this video in any form. <laughs> I'm going for maximum silly on crit Kokomi. That's what we're doing today. So Key of Kasha suit though, right? I have an R2 Key of Kasha, Kasha suit and it gives, you know, 0.25% of equipping characters uh, HP to the, the team or element to convert to elemental master for the team. I can't word right now. It's fine. And that benefits Kokomi because Kazuba, of course, has his passive that converts elemental mastery for every point of EM he has. It converts a damage bonus when he does a swirl. Well, we should be only doing hydro swirls in this team, obviously, so that's more damage bonus for Kokomi. <laughs> Not much more, but it's a little bit more, so we're doing it. And then Yolan, Yolan uh, on emblem, this is garbage for, for, this doesn't benefit Kokomi at all. So of course, we're gonna do four piece noblesse on Yolan, which is not, it's honestly not even that bad of an artifact set for Yolan. I just don't have the greatest, you know, DPS or stats for noblesse. This is my best HP time piece in noblesse. And I don't even have a fully leveled crit rate circlet. It's fine. And then for weapon, I'm not gonna use Fav, who needs Fav? I'm going to use Elegy, which I've barely gotten any use of <laughs> since I've gotten this on my account. But Elegy gives more attack for Kokobi. Also more EM for Kazuo. I forgot about that. That's even more damage bonus. Let's go. <laughs> this is so silly. <laughs> so Yolan's build. She's on four piece noblesse. And 72-70 70 crit ratio. Why does she have so much energy recharge? She does not need this much energy recharge. But as sad as this Yolan build is, I also have Yolan Constellations, which... I really wish I could turn this off. I made a whole video on how I really dislike C6 Yolan, but I'm not going to get into it. Uh, we're not using C6 Yolan's ability today, but C4 Yolan will benefit Kokomi's damage. Let's go. <laughs> so you know what? I'm getting some value out of my useless Yolan constellations, and we're heavily powering her down regardless. So, you know, y again, you could make this team perform much better than you will see it perform just y without having my constellations if you just, you know, put the smart builds on your characters. <laughs> the only character on a normal build is going to be Kazuha. I have a 1001 EM build on Kazuha. And, uh, hey, look, C2 is going to be slightly more elemental mastery for Kazuha. <laughs> so, more <laughs> more damage bonus. Yay. And as far as Kokomi's build goes, the interesting thing with this team, right, is, is Farina's giving damage bonus, Yolan's giving damage bonus, Kazuha's giving damage bonus, and then Kokomi is also getting damage bonus. Part of the reason with Kokomi in the first place, with Farina, the idea with her is because Kokomi gets a, a damage bonus from having healing bonus and Farina gives damage bonus and healing bonus which converts to even more damage bonus for Kokomi and of course Kokomi's burst converts her HP to more damage bonus for her normal charge attack damage so damage bonus damage bonus damage bonus and some more damage bonus means that I have actually did a few calcs and my calcs showed that this HP goblet is equivalent, is basically exactly equivalent to average damage as this Hydro Goblet is. Stat for stat, you know, if I had a Hydro Goblet that was this good, the Hydro Goblet would be better, right? But as far as Kokomi's damage goes, but the HP Goblet benefits us for having more healing, which is good in order to, you know, keep up with, with Farina's HP drain. And then the other artifacts I have in Kokomi are just, you know, some crit rate heavy artifacts. Like this is obviously a very good piece. Uh, that's pretty good as well. A bunch of attack percent. This is has some crit stats, you know. The goblet is obviously good. And then decent circle as well. Very good circle, actually. And overall build on Kokomi. When she has Marsha say Hunter stacks up, is 50% crit rate, 128 crit damage, and plenty of ER. Total buffs we have. We have 20% attack and an EM buff, which is relevant for Kazuha, giving more damage bonus. For, you know, that, we have 20% attack from Noblesse, 20% attack from <laughs> Tenacity. We have EM buff from from Key of Kaja's suit, which is a more, you know, swirl damage bonus from Kazuha, and uh, then Kazuha was also converting his EM to energy recharge. <laughs> and then, of course, Kokopi is getting more damage bonus from Lost Bird of the Sacred Winds and crit rate buffs. Yada yada. You get the point. I think it'll work pretty well. And she still heals for 3,900 on this build, which is pretty cool. This is going to be... I think it'll be plenty of healing to, to keep up with Farina's Strain, although we will find out. Oh, before we test against Rocky here, I think it's worth mentioning, there is a, an even more meme -y way 
<laughs> crazy, right? There's a more meme way to do a crit Kokomi build that I didn't do in my previous video, or I'm not going to do this video. I'm going to mention it is because there is other crit rate buffers in the game, right? So I mentioned Rosaria before, right? So Rosaria can buff 15% crit rate, but then there's also Geo Traveler, who I don't have. I have Dender Traveler right now, but they can buff crit rate, I think by about 10 or 15%. And then there's also Hu Tao, who I do not have on this account. Point is, you could use <laughs> you could use Hu Tao as a crit rate buffer. We'll also apply some pyro. Maybe you'll get some vapes. <laughs> don't do this. Don't do this. This is this is complete meme territory. Of it will not actually be a functional team, but it'd be funny. So point is, you can get like forty percent more crit rate buffs from from specific characters that you use, rather than focusing on like you know damage buffs like I am with mono hydro. It's going to be a worse team probably, but you know forty percent more crit rate on this build would be like having over ninety percent crit rate. On, on Kokomi, which means you could functionally justify going to a crit damage circlet even. Alright, let's see what we get here. Blam, do that, do this, do this, and swirly whirlies. Blam, and do that. Okay. Oh, meow. You interrupted me. 45k, very nice, I like it. I mean, it's doing damage. All right, I, I don't know what the like ideal rotation. I'm not sure how many charge attacks or you know normal attacks I can actually get in right now. Uh, wait, does my Kazuwa not have enough ER? How does Kazuwa the one that has a problem with ER? Well, I mean, I guess it makes sense, but I definitely did not expect that specific issue. Ow, 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 ow. Um, and Farina doesn't have enough ER either. That's actually really annoying. Actually, no, I think it was fine. I think we're fine. We're, 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 we're fine. It's not of vital importance to have Cosmos burst up, so I think I'll, I'll be fine without having, you know. It's very hard to... Oh, I never beat him on my main account before. That's funny. I mean, that was like... So, if you've never fought Rocky there, by the way, the, the dude hits like a truck, and I didn't even have to think about dodging things there. So this is a very safe team, is what I would describe it as. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it worked. I didn't expect Farina to have ER issues. Like, Farina has 148% ER. Obviously, you're not going to have ER issues. And how do I have the exact same ER on Kokomi and Farina, by the way? Uh, so anyways, hmm. Do I have an artifact I can use to level this up? Maybe get a little bit more ER on Farina? Don't know if I do. Oh, you know, while I'm while I'm here. So Ocean Hued Clam, this wall of text of a goofy artifact set. Part of the reason Crit Kokomi is kind of a meme build is because you could easily have, you know, total DPS contribution from Kokomi could be very similar if you just do a healing focused clam build on Kokomi where she's doing, you know, AoE physical damage with clam. It's not going to be functionally that different. That's why, like, it doesn't actually make sense to put, you know, your really valuable crit and high quality artifacts on Kokomi is because you can make Kokomi deal damage that's just not crit based damage, right? That's why Ocean Dew Clam is pretty good on her. Kokomi and as as synergy with Farina and can deal meaningful damage without having crit stats. It's just fun to see big numbers from Kokomi, like seeing 45,000 crit damage. Alright, I found an artifact I can throw away that I'm pretty sure I'll never use. Blam. Get some ER rolls. Oh, screw you, game. Okay, it's fine. Whatever. So let's go to the Abyss. I really wish Mahoyo would add, you know, more endgame combat, but is what it is. Local legends are fun and all, but they're still not as hard as Abyss is. So on floor 12 here, we're going to do Crit Kokomi on the second half because the Hydro Topol exists, who is immune to Hydro damage, which is not ideal. Although, there is an option to try to beat the Tulpa with <laughs> with Kokomi, with Crit Kokomi. I could put Kokomi on a physical crit build and use Eye of Perception. Eye of Perception's damage can crit, but I'd have to level up this weapon, and I'm, I, I would really prefer to save my resources for a certain animal bird coming out specifically in four days and 19 hours so i don't know get subscribed if you want to see me mess with the animal bird also oh, you know actually speaking of the animal bird uh she makes it so you can you know do jump plunges with with someone like crit kokomi and kokomi's multiplier for her plunge damage is higher than her other multipliers the only bad thing with that is you know it, it doesn't take advantage of her burst at all but that's also an upside it would mean you know you can prioritize more dps stats more crit stats right for crit kokomi rather than having to worry about kokomi's er at all so I, I, I don't know the point is you get the point animal bird doing you know jump jump plunge playstyle 
for, for Kokomi instead of doing Kazuha is a potential option. Again, I don't know, subscribe and let me know in the comments if you want me to do shenanigans with the animal bird with Crit Kokomi. And maybe that video will take me less than three months to do a follow-up on. <laughs> One thing I don't like about this this mono hydro team, by the way, is it's full of five stars. I don't really love teams that are all five stars because it's too much burst animation time in my experience. So you can, you know, fix that by using characters like Xing Cho, but then you're losing damage bonus, which is losing damage on Kokomi. That's nonsense, right? And if you do something like Fischl, then there's less need for, for using Kazuha, and instead you could use someone like Sucrose, which would be less field time, right, than, than Kazuha requires. Point is, there is variations of this, this Kokomi team that aren't just full on mono hydro and have less less issues with, you know, staring at burst animations. And for the first half of the Abyss, if you care, I'm doing a Yai, Chevreus, you know, official overload team. Normal and charge attack damage plus 20%, that bet if it's Kokomi. Let's go, more damage bonus for Kokomi. Let's see how Mono Hydro does against Electro Burb. It'll probably be pretty fine. Oh, Yelan has a cope amount of it, I mean. Whatever, my, my Yelan, ow, ow. My Ilana's doing a lot of damage still. It feels like she's doing a lot of damage still, but... Uh, my Cope Yelan build is still performing probably like a C1 Yelan does, or whatever, or a C0 C1 Yelan, because... You know, constellations and all that. Okay, let's not die here. And... That. I... It's, okay, we're fine. Downside of this team is it's really hard to to it's hard to see what damage numbers you get from Kokomi specifically. But hey, it's fine. Obviously the team functions. This <laughs> is heavily powered down Farina and Yvonne. <laughs> Attack percent, that bad if it's Kokomi. Okay, Kazu is actually really useful here for these Geo Slimes because the shields are really slow to get through if you don't have any kind of like, you know, impact damage on which Kazuo's plunges are a good impact damage. So, I should be able to get them pretty easily. I'm stuck on the slimes. What is happening? Okay. Oh, I got a 52k charge attack there. Nice. I think Kokomi is actually, because of my power down, you know, Farina and Yolan, I think Kokomi might be getting the biggest damage numbers <laughs> on screen, which is fantastic. That's exactly why I did this. Let's go. 40k, nice. Alright, come at me. I can tank anything. Well, maybe not anything, actually. Don't. Okay. I friend that. And the other one's just taking their leisurely time. Alright, do it this, do it this, do it this, and do a jellyfish, and do this. And start. The wind charge attack. Oh, that was a 52k again. Ah, okay, wait. We're fine. We're fine. Back, please. Back, please. Blam. Easy. Not even a problem. Topo is dead. No problem. Doo -doo -doo. We're gonna wait for them to land on me. Ow. I, I, I timed that badly. I meant to not take damage there. Oh well. Blam. 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 Hydro them to death. Ow. 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 Oh, jeez. <laughs> bit of damage here. What, what is bro doing over here? Okay. Mm -hmm. And... Oh, okay. Probably do, doing some normal attacks between, like, that burst and things to get Elon rocks out and whatever, but it's fine. It's fine. Uh, let's do this. Ow. Ow, don't kill me. Kazuha. I think they're all going to be dead after this. How are you still alive? No. Let me... Okay, I'm playing this bad. There we go. Blam. 18k. That's nothing. Where are you? Blam. 27k. Blam. Lame. I mean, comfortable. But we just didn't see a big number at the end, which I wanted. Oh well. 
So yep, I don't know. That was that was fun. Uh, <laughs> like, it's Mono Hydro, right? Like, I, I I knew this team was gonna perform pretty well. A definite downside of this team is it's it's not gonna let you see as much you know crit damage on Kokomi if you you don't have your bursts going on characters. So like for Overworld here, obviously we can get the crit rate stacks up, so we can have 50% crit rate on Kokomi here, but we're not necessarily going to see as big damage numbers if you're not actively using, you know, other characters' bursts, and Kokomi's damage is a lot lower. It'll still be fine for killing things in Overworld, but it's not going to give you the same satisfaction. Crit Kokomi is really fun, but as I mentioned earlier in the video, just doing something like Ocean U Clam is, you know, just as... It's, I shouldn't say just as confident. It's just doing different things, right? Genshin, Genshin has the framework for you to be able to do different degrees of, of silliness in this game and that's that's i think what's what's amazing about genshin <laughs> the fact that we can do silly nice this like this and it still works mohoyo can say no you're not supposed to crit on the fish mermaid lady but we can say nope we gonna do it anyways there he is last doing this thing i don't think i've actually killed this dude on, on this account either let's murder him to end off the video it's the best way to end any video murder why is he pooping lava everywhere? All right, 43k, nice. What is happening? Okay. All right, we're fine, we're fine. And blam, ow, don't kill me. Uh, downside of this team also, you can't see anything other than blue, you know, so. Dabba dee, dabba die. Everything will die, but so will your vision. Get blue light filters, I guess. That's the solution. Ow, don't kill my fish. Die, please. Die. die. No, I refuse. Die, please. Kill him, Kokomi. Yes, there we go. Success. No problem. Wasn't even close. So yeah, I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you uh, if you try Kree Kokomi yourself and if you enjoy it. It's a fun time. That's all I can say. To answer like the title of the video, uh, Crit Kokomi with Farina is probably pretty decent, but it's more to the strengths of like the the team core ultimately than it is specifically because Crit Kokomi is a good idea. But it's just something fun you can do, right? I do like reaction teams more than Mono Hydro, but at the same time, I think this team is much more fun than you know, Nahida, Kuki, Shingcho, Hyper Bloom, right? Hyper Bloom can be fun for its own reasons, but. I think this team is also fun for its other reasons. That's that's all. I digress. I'm getting a bit rambly. Point is, I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want more shenanigans. I'll certainly be doing plenty of shenanigans with, with Cloud Retainer next week. and uh, So you can look forward to that. And I don't know. Let me know if I'm an idiot or something. I mean, well, actually, you don't have to let me know I'm an idiot. I already know that. And now I get to spend 10 minutes fixing all of my character's artifacts. Yay.